today's technical corner, I'm joined by Ross Milne from Ram Engineering and Tooling, and we're talking about soaring product from Linsinger. Uh, you represent these in the UK and Ireland, don't we you, do. Do. Um, Ross? Um, now, soaring uh, is, is often not a precise discipline, is it? In a true, sense, true, however, yeah. it's a very it's a necessity. Yeah. Um, so, what's good about Linsinger's products? Linsinger's products um, they tend to use circular saws um, as opposed to band saws. Um, Advantage, advantages for circular sawing, um, the the speed of the cut. So if you're looking to do a lot of sawing and you want it done fast, this is the type of technology you want to be using. It also gives you a, a very precise straight edge as opposed to a bandsaw which can wander. Mm. Um, Linsinger prides itself on automation as well. So we're not just looking at saying, here's a saw, go and cut your material. It's all very boring. We're saying, what are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to, to make billets of a certain weight come out the other side of your saw? If that's the case, we're the people for you. We can actually measure the volume with lasers on the, the materials um, transport into the cutting area. Mm, so the automation is, is a big factor, isn't it? When you Absolutely. look at the, uh, the consumable element, though, if you're cutting yes. and sawing faster, yep. is there going to be more costs associated with that? You're using carbide inserts, again, um, in here. Um, or carbide, uh, brazed carbide cutting saws, depending on the, the, the size of the machine that you're, you're looking at. So no, because what happens, the saws are, are very large diameters. So what you're doing is you're cutting into the material, it's going into cut, it's coming out, it's taking the heat with it on, on its way out, then another insert is coming in to carry on. Mm. So your, your, your inserts last a long, long time. Uh, because I'm, I'm looking at the material types as well. Mm. Is there any... Um, you know, how does it work with the, with harder material and softer material? You slow things down, speed things up. What's the? It's it's, it's like it's like standard machining. It's like standard machining. If you've got if you've got inconel material that you're trying to machine, then obviously you change your speed and your feed. Exactly the same as a milling application. It is a milling application. And what about the the size of the overall sort of bar or product that you could actually cut, Ross? Um, this on, on this range, this is a KSS range. We could go up to one point one meters. So if you imagine the size of the saw blade, um, it's it's some serious equipment at that point. Yeah, and I suppose there's a big difference there if you're if you're sawing that in half an hour compared to four or five hours, isn't Absolutely. it? That's all, it's all about production time. Absolutely. And how about clamping of the, the parts like this as well? Security, because that again will affect whether the, the part moves and vibrates and again yep. talk to wear, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, as you can see, if you've got a forged part or or um, or similar it's difficult to grab hold of a, an even surface. You're not going to get that. So what we've actually got is we've got three point clamping. So two at the bottom, one on the slant bed, um, one at the front and one at the, the, the scrap or the component area mm -hmm. at the other side. So basically there's no movement in the material. If there was movement in the material, that would cause chatter on the inserts, the insert, inserts would break, then you've not got a solid process. We do have a solid process because we've got solid clamp on either side. Do you ever use more than one disc at once in a soaring operation? We do, we do. If we've got pipes, um, uh, it's a different range, it's not the KSS, but if it's pipe work and you're trying to get through that pipe, what's the fastest way of doing it? If you've got to travel all the way through it, that's quite difficult. So what we've actually done, it's not difficult, it's, it's, it's just going to take a long time. Um, so what we've actually, Linsinger have actually done, is they've got three blades, three saw blades that move in all separately so you're cutting the cutting time down three times. Mm. All about speed, Absolutely. as we recognise here. Um, they've got some new products coming to the market as well, you mentioned to me. They do. Um, uh, we've got a six-sided, again, a world first, six-sided milling machine. Basically, you put your billet in at one end, you've told the machine the parameters that you're trying to achieve, what sizes you're trying to achieve. It works out where the plate is, picks it up, changes the clamping automatically, mills the edges, hands it to the next one, and in the end, you get a fully parallel six-sided block, wow. world first. Interesting. Look yep. forward to hearing more about that. So there, for your soaring applications, um, talk to uh, Ross here at Ram Engineering and Tooling. That's it for today's Technical Corner uh, on the Linsinger product.